Hello fellow YouTubers, this is N0AGI. I'm here to do a short video on uh, putting a PL259 soldering type connector into this LMR400. The intent of this video is more about how to splice this LMR400 more efficiently and more cleanly than I have been doing in the past. In the past I've been using some manual cutters and measuring and it was working all right nothing nothing wrong with that um, but I was just exploring other tools to make this more uh, efficient for me and I went and purchased a couple of tools from DX Engineering. Uh, one is the the LMR 400 uh, splicing tool it's called uh, from DX Engineering. It's called DXE UT8213, uh, and um, the other tool is the DXC UT80P. And I'll show you both of these tools here, and see how we can use them both um, to to make this more efficient uh, splicing and fitting sort of an operation. So one other tool I got from DX Engineering is this cutting tool. Uh, it's uh, it does a pretty good job of uh, cutting your LMR 400 uh, or any coax for that matter uh, into a clean cut, um, and uh, and that'll enable a, a much flusher uh, job at the end of it. So for example, let me show you. For I cut this earlier. I tested the tools earlier on this end of the LMR cable. I got a small strip of it here. So let me cut this off and basically this tool has a nice curve, curved cutting edge to it which makes the cutting a lot more um, cleaner. Take a quick cut and as you can tell here uh, it does a pretty good job of cutting it. Although as you can tell it kind of squished the coax a little bit and the way to rectify that is again using the cutting tool it has these uh, uh, little notches in them and you basically uh, use a notches and make it more rounded uh, so that that looks pretty good to me so anyway so this tool here works really good it helps you cut or gives you a very clean um, edge so to speak and does a pretty good job now I got a PL259 connector here, the barrel and the actual connector, and we got that. The first tool we'll use is um, uh, is this one here. Uh, it's a, it's again um, uh, the DXC uh, UT8213. It's it's meant for these coax type uh, cables, but uh, it works pretty good with LMR400 also. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, the tool itself comes in this nice little packaging uh, in, uh, from DX Engineering. It's made of nice heavy metal and feels really good in your hands. It's got two um, um, parts or two entry points to it. The first entry point is marked as first cut um, and which is what we will use to make our first cut on the LMR 400 and the second one finishes it off uh, with the second cut. So let's go through each one of them. Uh, so let's take the flush end of your coax and then let's insert that into the um, into the um, into the barrel that's marked as first cut. And what I do usually is or just started doing is take a an earbud and just do a quick clean up on the inside and through the through the pass through or the blade pass through here just to make sure there there isn't any um, um, loose wires or material in the barrel just to give it a better cut so hold your um, the coax as close as you can uh, to the barrel so you're not holding it like that but rather holding it close to it so the coax doesn't bend so let's go through that and insert it and you you will feel that the coax is pushing against the blade which is fine now just go through clockwise cut and you will feel that like, like a pencil sharpener it cuts through the coax and the material and uh, um, as you can tell 
it kind of splices out uh, and you will feel that once it gets to the end that it has completed its first cut so I still need to go through this a few more times here there you go it's completed uh, just do one more round and gently pull it out and there you go it did the first cut this first cut is meant for uh, it to go through the uh, the center connector here and now um, you will find you might find some remnants just uh, take our rub them off or maybe take a little snipper and cut them off but as you can tell it has done a pretty good job of uh, flush cut now one thing you will notice is um, is over here you you see you see a lot of debris from this cut which is fine make sure you clear up your area so it doesn't um, you know cause any issues for your connectors and so forth so now we got the first cut done let's go through the second cut now likewise so insert this uh, the first cut end into this into the second cut uh, barrel and then gently but but uh, snugly cut through it just like with the first cut this time around it, it uh, goes through the uh, the second cut by splicing the outer uh, material and exposing the um, the shield uh, material like so so there we go we got the first cut and the second cut cleanly made and then take uh, take your soldering iron and install some solder on the top edge of the uh, shielded material here and uh, ready for installation now now let's go on to the next step here now we got the coax ready and let's get into now putting the connectors into the barrel uh, into the coax I'll be right back so the next step is to install the barrels uh, rather the coax PL259 connector into the coax and the tool I would like to use here is a DXC UT ADP by DX Engineering again. Uh, let's see how that works. Uh, you take your coax and before you install the uh, the pin assembly, in take your barrel and install the, the barrel right side up and take your connector and gently um, push that through the, the coax and give it a quick turn. Now once you get it tightly installed or, or snugly installed, take the the AT UT ADP. The UT ADP has two ends to it. The larger end which we will use for the connector to go through. So for example like so. And now you turn the connector into the into the PL259 or the tool into the PL259 connector and turn it clockwise and the way this works is it gets the tool installed uh, gets the PL259 connector installed into the coax And as you turn it, you will start to see the center connector come through the pin, and that's when you know it's about done. And it'll feel you can feel that it's really tight. It'll be really tight, uh, and then you won't be able to turn it anymore. Uh, now hold on to the, the PL259 connector, and then unscrew it with the anti-clockwise motion, and there you have it. Uh, nicely done without any scar marks on the connector um, sort of a, a finished product let's see if this focuses properly then you can do your soldering work on the center pin and then do some soldering work on the shielded material so there you have it folks um, just a quick demo of uh, the tools and uh, the work uh, uh, that the tools do to give you a uh, to produce a good nice finished product um, this is N0AGI thanks for watching we'll talk soon